Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today on Circuit Breakers, it's going to be a game between Shuttle and Scan. Bottom left hand corner, it is the Red Terran player, Scan. And in the top left, you know him as Eyewater and as Shuttle. He's the Brown Protoss player. Okay, I kind of feel like Shuttle has an edge in this because Scan is an incredible Terran player, but Shuttle is oh so good at PVT. But that is why we watch, because sometimes there are upsets, some are big, some are small, sometimes the better player wins handily, sometimes the better player loses handily, and it's time for a PVT. Yeah. Bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum 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 Happy 2021, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the 1440p action. It's become just kind of commonplace for me. Like, it's it's how brains work, right? You get something new and shiny, and you really love it, and it changes your life. And then after a while, you just acclimate to it, and your brain stops even noticing what's going on. Like, I have this really beautiful 1440p monitor here, and it's big and shiny, and the detail is better, and it's great, but... Like, I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and now it's just, it's becoming normal. And I, that bothers me. Like, why can't brains just appreciate things for longer than a small amount of time, huh? Huh? Ugh. Anyway. <sighs> Both players opening up very standard. Barracks, gateway, gas. No gas for the Terran yet. That's fine. He can live on marines and bunkers for quite some time. Although, eventually, he does want to get up to a tank at some point. Yes, yes, he does. Got the Protoss music in the background. Uh, happy 2021, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope things are okay. I don't imagine things are changing too much from the last year. That's, you know, it's how years work. <laughs> it's not like there's a magical marcation between one year and the next. It's just we, as humans, need a way to... Mark the passage of time, and that's what we do. Anyway. Thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. Got a lot of good subs in the last month. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm posting Brood War stuff five times a week. So, I mean, if you want to be aware of what's going on there, subscribe is a good way to do it. Yeah, man. So does uh, Rax expand here? Got the Marines. Going to scout out and see if we need to worry about Dragoons quickly or not. And the answer is, yeah, we do. Singularity Charge has just started upgrading and Dragoons are on the way too. So let's go ahead and toss up a bunker at some point. Pro I don't know what this probe is hoping to scout. What are you going to see? There's an expansion. Like that means there's not a factory yet. There cannot be a factory yet because there's an expansion. That is an expensive piece of furniture. Okay. Uh, of architecture? Expensive piece of architecture. That scan is tossing down right now. Dragoon, moving out. SCV says, you're not expanding yet. This concerns me. You're going to make a second gateway? Are you going to expand? What are you going to do? But I can't get that information because this Dragoon is trying to murder me in the face. Behold the bunker, the all-important bunker. Here at the front door of the natural. And what, dude, seriously though, shuttle. What are you doing, man? Ferendo, what are you up to? I apologize to those of you who are colorblind. I know that red and uh, brown is hard for you to see on the minimap, but um, it's better than yellow, right? <laughs> or maybe it's the same thing as yellow, but just for everybody else, yellow is impossible. So we're going to go with the majority on this one. What is... I, honestly, what on earth? He's just probing up. Shuttle's not taking a second gate. Oh, 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 oh. He just proxied a robo. All right. Things got interesting. All of a sudden, dude, this SCV is running for his little SCV life, keeping the Dragoon away from the front door. But did you, what, okay. He thought about just walking past the bunker, but then decided not to? Good play by Scan, recognizing that Dragoon is on hold position and shoving it away, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, so yeah, down here, brown, kinda hard to see on the mini-map. It is a robo facility, and there's the expansion coming up for shuttle. So S, oh, the yeah, SCV scouts this. Scan, you're doing some good things here today, Monami. Wow, that is just a fantastic, fantastic scout. Dragoons are here with their range, etc., etc. It's not a huge deal. First factory machine shop is on the way. Gonna have to hold for just, you know, a while yet. 
Is he gonna... Oh, who did we see this? We saw a game. We saw a PBT recently where this was attempted. Right? Or am I a crazy person? Did I post that on the Patreon? Maybe that was a Patreon cast. It was a Patreon cast. Okay, so spoiler alert. Somebody does this on Neo Sylphid. Yep, exactly this. Gets the shuttle, drops the Dragoons inside the house where there's not a bunker to help the Marines deal with this and then tries to get some good trades. Not necessarily intended to kill the Terran here, but lots, a lot of lost mining time for sure. Oh, I do love the missile turret attempt, but no, the SCD gets sniped. And, yeah, they're not even... They're just here to kill missile turrets, man. Oh, that was so good. And then the shuttle can come back in for more shenanigans later. This Dragoon trying to take down a barracks, which is interesting stuff. But this really requires the Terran player to make more Marines than they want to. To handle this amount of stuff. There's a siege tank out. Siege mode is almost done. And that should put an end to this these shenanigans that shuttle is trying to visit here upon... The Terran player. Oh, we've got a reaver now because of course he does. Look at that split. Look at that split. Scan, you're so good at this game. Oh, that was beautiful. So yeah, of course there's a reaver. I didn't see that in the production tab. I wasn't looking for it, but obviously that's the follow-up because that's what it is. So yeah, observatory coming in to deal with potential spider mines that might exist, although that has not been researched yet. Siege tank wants to wander up a little bit, or actually pull back a little bit. We're just, we're going to sack the bunker there, no big deal. Pull the barracks back. This reaver has maybe a couple kills, but not much otherwise. Is that a third? It is a third. So yeah, you can either try to slow down the Terran player by attacking him consistently, or to try to out macro them by expanding way faster than they do. It kind of looks like Shuttle is doing both of those things at the same time right now. Which is cool. I am totally on board with this plan. Spider Mines in production. Man, I guess a lot of things happening. So I have the Google Messages app. Uh, it allows me to access my texts on the web, kind of like iMessages does for iPhone users and Apple users. But it does this thing where it can't handle group texts. Like every, maybe once or twice a month, instead of putting group texts in the group text, it tells me I don't have a message. I have a message that I can't download from one of the people in the group message. So it's like, you want to download it? And I try to download it, and it sits there forever and ever and ever and ever downloads and just never shows up. And then I've tried clearing the cache. I've tried restarting my phone. I've tried turning off Wi-Fi calling. I've tried a million different things, and it refuses to work until it wants to. Like, I'm sure sometime tomorrow, it'll be like, here's all your group messages. Enjoy them. It's like, well, yes, context, contextually, it's a little late now, friend. So I don't know. I'm thinking about just going back to the stock message app for my phone, and maybe that's better. Yeah, I'm missing 11 messages in three different group chats because it's just busted. And I've Googled this, and there's just not an answer to it. Nobody has a good answer. It just works or it doesn't. Like, Google support for their products is pretty bad, it turns out. If it doesn't work, you're in trouble. Uh, going for Charon boosters, because Shuttle does love them shuttles. It allows you to pick off observers, allows you to pick off shuttles, allows you to pick off, I don't know, maybe scouts if Shuttle's interested in doing that stuff, which he definitely is not. I promise. Yeah, Scan's just tank pushing this. I'm trying to get rid of this stupid proxy that's been a thorn in his side for the last five minutes. And he'll get it, so. The Reavers can't do much about that one, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Dragoon Count just super high for Shuttle. He is producing a Stargate and a Forge and a Templar Archive, so he's going fast Arbiter. Here at nine minutes, he's going Arbiter. That is super duper zippy. Sorry, I had to speed up there just for a second. We're back now, and I love this expansion too. Shuttle! Shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. What are we looking at? We're looking at the expansion timings. Although third base is now landed for scan. So he's no slouch on expanding either, and this is really hard to punish. So what we've seen in successful attempts from Protoss players to beat Terrans in these situations is, 
you gotta jump on this with a bunch of dragoons. And yes, you're probably gonna lose all your dragoons, but if you take four or five of the tanks with them, then it keeps the tank count from getting to a super scary number of 30 or 40. And then they show up at your base and everything just dies because you can't do anything about that. Unless you go carriers, I suppose, which is always an option. We could see shuttle do that. Hey, look what it is. That's right. We've got Arbiter production starting at 10 minutes. That is pretty zippy. Pretty zippy the Arbiter shenanigans. I like it. Dude, fourth CC coming up. <sighs> Scan is keeping up economically with Shuttle right now, and I am just impressed. I'm impressed with the game that he's played so far. I know he's really, really good at TVZ. His TVP seems equally excellent, though. That he's able to expand this quickly, just keep a pace with the Protoss, is absolutely enthralling. This is some really, really, really nice play. No upgrades for the Dragoons. The tanks are at plus one attack. Working on plus one armor for those guys. Plus one attack is trying to come in from the gateway units. We'll get there eventually, I suppose. Let's see. Reaver, two kills and seven kills. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not quite paying for themselves, but maybe combined they are. Hard to say. The Protoss music is so stately. 10 zealots in production. So nothing... Actually, yeah. The Dragoon Zealot Army's here. We've got the Arbiters for Stasis. We've got Observers to deal with the Spider Mines. We can handle the Vultures. Just all the pieces are here. And Shuttle just looks like he just wants to go ahead and take the whole top half of the map. Which I'm not sure that Scan can do much about with these Vultures. The Siege Tanks can't really push out. There aren't enough of them yet. A dead observer, nicely done, but ah, the Reaver's still getting value. That's what I'm talking about. Taking down a couple missile turrets, making it easier for observers to come down here and then picking them up. Shuttle. Shuttle's shuttle control, as expected based on his name, is incredible. Can you, oh, well, never mind. Everything died. I jinxed it! I jinxed it so hard! <laughs> Why? Why would shuttle... Like, shuttle's ability is... With shuttles are godlike, and then everything dies. Sometimes that happens. Man. So another thing I've been thinking about recently is zoom levels. Like, I've had people complain because I'm zoomed in too far, and people complain because I'm zoomed out too far. And so what I've tried to do is do a bit of both, right? So you're zooming out to see truth movements and big engagements. And zooming a little bit in to see those engagements closer up if they are small enough to warrant a zoom in, right? Just trying to adjust on the fly. I mean, look at this base. That is such a happy base. So he's on even count with the Protoss. This does not bode well for Shuttle being on equal base count here. And it looks like it's time. Shuttle decided it is time to engage. So let's go. I love this supply depot wall. The Zealots can't get through there. I mean, they're definitely going to try, but they're going to lose a bunch of their buddies in the meantime. All right, so Zealot Flood coming in, recognizing there are not many Vultures or Goliaths here, so we're just going to wander in with a million Zealots with them upgrades here, too. And is he going to take this base? The plus one attack, the speed. No, the Zealots are all gone. That's a lot of dead SCVs for sure. It's only 64 SCVs now, but he holds on to the base. And a few tanks go down. So again, these are trades. These are trades we want to make. Another expansion here from Shuttle. He'll probably take one in the top right, because why not at this point? I, I really don't feel like Scan wants to move out under any circumstances here today. He, oh, he didn't bring detection. Where's your observers, though? Ow! Okay, that's a couple free Dragoons. Not ideal. 
keep thinking this is a base coming up from scan. It could be. It absolutely could be, but it's not. It's over sight range being researched now, too. And yeah, it's another expansion. So top half of the map definitively belongs to shuttle right now. Bottom half of the map pretty much definitively belongs to uh, to scan, but we'll see. We'll see where he ends up with that one. Spider mine clearing action, always good for the soul. Just, it's a good, it's like mowing the lawn. It just feels nice sometimes. Dragoons really want that supply depot, but also don't want to get smashed in the face by siege tanks. But hey, that works. Supply depot down, Dragoons, mission accomplished. And this is where the bottom right does not belong to scan. Like, two vultures can't hold this. So, uh. Bam, he doesn't need it. Scan's on four bases, yo. He's doing just fine. He's got a big, big maxed out scary army. It's time to move out. Let's go. Four bases taken pretty easily. There was an attack on the fourth, but we can live with that. And it's time to move out. Observer sees it, gets scanned, gets murdered for having the knowledge that it does. Its knowledge was the death of it for sure. And this feels no, he's ah, oh, he's spider mining. Yes, yeah, it looks like he's already preparing his home away from home here. He's oh, he was preparing to lose that top left, and then Scan was like, no, how about we, how about we engage here in the middle of the map? How does that sound? That is a lot of vultures, man. That's so many zealots back there too. Dragoons doing a good job engaging with the vultures, getting good trades, keeping the zealots back from the engagement. Until the vultures are dead, but again, Scan gets out of there too. Nobody really wants to, you know, just go for it here and lose everything. That'd be problematic for sure. Stasis, not the, not the greatest stasis of all time, but that's okay. And look at this. Shuttle actually taking the bottom right. That's intriguing for sure. Meanwhile, Scan is marching. On Shuttle's top left-hand corner, his position, he's just trying to make sure there's no easy way for the Protoss player to save this. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about the mech. It's very ponderous, it's very slow, it's very deliberate, but it's also very powerful at the same time. Those are the trade-offs in RTS games, at least well-developed RTS games. Oh, this is good. This is some good stuff here. Oh, yes. We get the Hallucinated Arbiter drop. Absorb the hits, Hallucinated Arbiters. Allow this one to make it through. Oh, no. He target fired it. I think he target fired it. I really think he did. Dude, scan seriously. Awesome. Awesome move. Yeah, this base is dead. All this is basically dead. You can delay. Sure, you can delay this all you want. Delay the death of your main, but you better start building some tech structures other places because uh, they're going to be dead soon. Although, tanks retreating. Retreating back here. I love this big swath of red across the middle of the map. Scan has another expansion here at the 9 o'clock base. He's doing great. Both players are just banking. They are absolutely just banking resources for all the live long day. Zealots finally show up to get rid of these siege tanks. Yeah, because he kind of abandoned his post. He could have sat here and killed it. But a bunch of tanks went home for reasons I don't fully understand. And now he has to reestablish the position. So now all of these uh, zealots are dead because that's a lot of vultures. They have plus three attack. The zealots don't have any armor upgrades at all. So they're a little bit squishier than they otherwise would be. Plus three attack finishing up for him there too. And it looks like Scan might be more interested in going after... Oh, what was this attack? Ah, the brown, though. Is that a recall? That was a really, really effective recall. Everything is dead there. Good grief. All right. Focusing on the minimap. We got this. Yes, yeah, all the zealots are gone, which means... Oh, but the recall! On top of the Terran army mixed with some storm. 
Wow, shuttle. That was looking so bad for you, and you turned it around. You shoved Scan right off your front porch and said, get out of here. I'm keeping my main. I'm not rebuilding my tech anywhere else. I don't need to. A storm would, honestly, a couple storms here would not be bad for me, Mr. High Templar. Awesome. Awesome storm. Tanks are dead, and now it's just the vultures. They do have spider mines. Ow, as three dragoons die, but still. This is a scrappy engagement right now. Coming down from the south, Scan. Sieging up his tanks. He doesn't have any vultures to help him, though. Which means the zealots are right on top of his dudes. I need... Man, we should rewind and figure out what that was. We'll do it at the end of the game, see what it is. Still sending reinforcements up, man. One eighty five to one thirty four supply in favor of shuttle right now. I'm telling you, he is winning engagements. He should not be winning. That's how good he is at this game. Ah, zealot attack here at the nine o'clock should be cleaned out just by the sheer number of units responding to it. Dragoons. Oh, making a bit of a beeline here for the front door of the Terran player. Clearing out a ton of spider mines, maybe jumping on some of these siege tanks, but that's a bigger number than I think he expected or I expected. But spider mines definitely going to die here for sure when it comes down to it. Pulling out of range of that siege mode sound. It's not good. It's a scary one for Protoss of all kinds. 200 to 60 supply in favor of the Protoss. Scan still trying to come up this left side. Still trying with his 2-2 two, two tanks. He's working on 3-3. Three, three, plus 3 attack is almost done for his dudes. Observers. Both hanging out. At the same place? Sure. Looks like maybe Scan wants to retake the 12 o'clock. If at all terribly possible. The middle is being held a little bit here by these Dragoons, but not... Not crazy amounts. And yeah, the command center comes down here to the 6 o'clock again. So it's just just like new. It must have been a recall. I did not see an army come down that way. But again, I was focusing on other stuff for sure. Solid attack of the 9 o'clock. This is humongous. This is really big. Coming into that 9 o'clock like that. Nice stasis. I really, really feel like... Well, I guess the Zealots got sucked back in there. Hmm. I was going to say, if that 9 o'clock base is dead and this engagement goes as well as it looks like it's going for Shuttle, I think Shuttle might have just won this game. Again, you are losing Dragoons by fighting these tanks. Totally agree. But what matters is keeping the tank count low, man. There are four tanks here. There are four tanks here. I think that might honestly be it for scan. Eight tanks is not going to put the fear of Terran into anybody. Okay, he's got 12. 12 total. Four more coming to after saving the 9 o'clock. That said, it's only 162 supply right now for shuttle. He's not spending his money as effectively as I'd like him to. There we go. Starting to max out. Making 22 Dragoons at the same time. 22 Dragoons at once is a lot of Dragoons. Good gravy. It's a lot of Dragoons. Alright. Well. Hmm. Scans at 185 supply. He hasn't lost a base recently. He also hasn't expanded super recently either. So this is where things get tough for Terran. Right? Because if you try to wipe this out. You kind of leave this space open to attack. You leave this space open to attack. You have to kind of cover everything at once. Because you're not very fast and you don't have the recall ability to be zippy. What 
actually my favorite Protoss track right here, but Scan's going for it, man. He says, all right, I feel like I have all the spider mines in the known world up here. Try to protect at that base. Oh, no. See, he knows. He knows there are Dragoons threatening it, so he's pulling back. Also a recall attempt. EMP it. Got it. No recalls for you, Arbiter. Get out of our neighborhood and die. Oh, what? 13 HP, huh? That's not a lot. And yeah, look at this. Scan comes all the way back home to handle a handful of Dragoons. Can we split? Do you think it's really only cannons protecting this base? You sh there you go. Show up with three siege tanks. Slowly take it down. That's all it takes. That's all you're about. Once again, Scan finds himself in the top left-hand corner. This is a really, really crazy PVT. All right. Well, no. Shuttles all over this three siege tank attempt at destroying the bottom right-hand corner. That's not going to happen. Also, I don't know if you have enough to, have enough to defend the 6 o'clock against this particular army. This is a good position on this map, though, to go ahead and take down this nexus. This high ground spot. Really hard for anybody to dislodge, but coming down again to the 6 o'clock base. Just walking in with his zealots. Not A-moving, mind you. Walking past them so we can attack multiple of them at the same time. Really fantastic play from shuttle six o'clock base dies and i think that might like even if this works even if scan is able to take out this top left hand stuff i think he just dies he's on one mining base the six o'clock dying is so important for him he's got this base mining and that is approximately it he's got two mineral patches here two mineral patches there mining out very very quickly and sure maybe you can top you know you can take out this top left hand base fantastic but the production available elsewhere on the map is incredible for shuttle he's played that so well it's just it's almost an inevitability the longer the game goes on you're going to lose your main base to a terran so having a home away from home is just what protoss do in this matchup yeah i mean this is just still working scan's not particularly microing very well back here he's just losing vultures for nothing High Templar trying to sneak in here. He does get a really nice storm off, taking out one of them siege tanks. Recognizing quite rightly, I think, that there's no detection available here for the Protoss. Spider Mines get laid. Top left hand base is going to die. He's trying to get some Arbiters out here before that happens, though, and might be able to get one. Or two. Maybe two. Maybe two Arbiters are going to pop out, except there are Goliaths in the army, so maybe you don't want to do that necessarily oh no no goliaths in this army never mind oh there's two Jeez, Brandon. come on man you got this thing ba -ba 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 -da. all right so the arbiters get out of there again top left hand base is dead but income is not good for the terran he's down 195 to 136 total supply what a great storm that was gee that was incredible but plus three siege tanks against two armored dragoons it's just never going to be a good fight for the dragoons but guess who has a new army because he has a bank eye water sitting on cash cash money that he can spend to make more stuff oh yeah just watching the slow death the top left hand corner uh oh expanding what ah scan expanding the shuttles natural is hilarious it's really very good but I think this is where the 9 o'clock dies. Good EMP on those Dragoons, but maybe you would have saved that for the High Templar. I don't know. Tacking into a choke is not recommended behavior. That doesn't matter. Scan taps out, man. He's done. He recognizes there's too much Protoss up here. I don't have any income. He can easily send some stuff down to wipe this out and keep me contained. My 6 o'clock is dead. He's expanded to the bottom right-hand corner, and I'm just out. Out. Macroed, friends. Too many bases for me to handle. Nicely done. Ooh, we were going to go back and take a look at what happened to the 6 o'clock, weren't we? Let's do that real fast. But only because I love you. Only because I feel bad for missing its death. Mm, further back? Yeah, so what do we get here? Play. I'm 16 speed. It, oh, it was a super cool recall. It was a super cool multiple arbiter, real arbiter recall. That was great. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We want to see that. Not at time 16 speed either. Mm -hmm. 
Hallucination time. See, in that time... Well, the Arbiter dies to this missile turret. <laughs> but not after it accomplishes its horrible, horrible goal. Cool. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I, shuttle. Good player, everyone. Good player alert. Ends up getting the best of scan in this PBT. 99,000 points for shuttle. 99,000 points for scan. Actually outscored the Protoss and lost anyway. That doesn't happen a lot. I like pointing that out when it does. Outproduces the Protoss player, outkills the Protoss player, and loses basically the same number of stuff. But you see where the difference here is, is uh, right here. The Minerals Mine is way more for the Protoss. The Total Spent is way more for the Protoss. So it could afford to lose more stuff and not kill as much stuff and not be as cost efficient and win anyway. Be a Zergit. That's exactly what Shuttle did. Well done. Well done, Shuttle. All right. Excellent. Excellent stuff. So that's going to be it from me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.